Hello everyone, this is Jason from jasoncollinphotography.com coming to you today from the home studio in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What I have for you in this video is a small review of a new item I just got in last week and it is the Peak Design Everyday Sling Volume 2 3 liter. Um, I do like camera bags a lot and I, this makes only three camera bags that I have in my possession, which is not that much for me historically. I've tried to tame it down, but the reasoning is bags do different things and as a professional photographer, having a bag for a specific thing is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing to keep your gear protected and make you take your camera more on things. Why did I get this bag? It's pretty small, it's only three liters. What can it fit? I'll show you in a second. Well, I started getting into cycling again, and as I went cycling around Albuquerque, I had some unique views of the cities you can't get from your car driving somewhere and parking, or you can't get from even walking around. So I thought, I want a small bag that'll carry one camera and one lens and fit snugly on my back. Enter the Peak Design Everyday Sling version 2 3 liter. I have a couple of other Peak Design products. I have another one of their bags, their Everyday Messenger bag, and I use their camera clip system to carry my cameras around or put them on my hip while I'm shooting. And I also have one of their uh, leashes, or they call it a slide actually, just a regular camera strap that's pretty ingenious and has their kind of unique system where you can just pull that and tighten and loosen the bag pretty quickly. So. Let me loosen this all the way up so I can bring it around and show you. My question about this bag was, could it fit my Sony a7R4 camera with my Sony 24-7D millimeter f2.8 gold master lens? Now I contacted every day, I contacted Peak Design and they said, yes, it might be snug. So I was a bit skeptical, but I didn't want to get a six liter bag. I wanted this small bag and hope it would work. Well. There it is, Sony a7R4 with the Sony 24-70mm f2.8 gold master lens. Now, it fits in there really easily with the lens hood back. No problem getting in, no problem to zip it up. What I was really concerned about was, take the lens cap off, always keep it in my right front pocket, the lens hood, because this is way I'm gonna have the camera on and I'm gonna be able to take it out and shoot, cycle somewhere, see something interesting, take a shot, put it in my bag, cycle somewhere, see something interesting, take a shot, like that. Now, this is a bit of a challenge. So I will see how good I am at this with the bag on me, putting it back in there. So I discovered what you wanna do is, I have the back of the bag to me, of course. So here's the camera. Turn the camera facing that direction so that the bottom is away from you and the grip is down. So put the grip in that way down, camera lens down. Oh. Oh. The camera was snagged over here, so that's why I didn't even go in that way. All right, so the camera is in the bag. Let me come in and show you. So, can I zip the bag and keep the camera safe? Yes, I have. Will I be able to do that now on camera? I don't know, let's see. So it's a quite, it's not an easy fit. And you gotta put it in just right. And it helps to stretch out the bag. It's bag still pretty brand new. Let me start this way. So this way, pretty good. Boom. Almost got it all the way. Don't want to break the lens hood inside there. Well, for now, I essentially got it all in. So if you're wondering, can your Sony a7R4 and Sony 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 gold master with lens hood extended fit inside the Peak Design Everyday Sling Volume 2 3 liter bag? Yes. Am I out of breath from trying to do that on camera? A little bit. Did it close all the way? No. Have I gotten it to close all the way when it's not on me and I'm not on camera? Yes. If you put the lens hood back each time, does it fit in and out easily? Yes. What's a better way to do it? I don't know. 
I haven't taken it out on a bike yet to see, is it more of a pain in the butt to put the lens hood on back and forth? But if you put the lens hood back on, then you have to put the lens cap back on. So you gotta decide, is that more of a pain in the butt to do every time you stop, or to try to wrestle with it and put it inside this bag? Other than that, I really like the bag. It's the usual good build quality, stylish. Not a man purse. It's definitely a camera bag, Jess. Um, so let me know if you have this bag, what you've been able to fit into it, and if you have any questions about it, I can test it out with some other Sony cameras and Sony lenses. Whew, as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving comments and feedbacks. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for checking out jasoncollinsphotography.com. And keep yourself safe out there. We'll see you next time. Bye.